My name is Steve. I'm in my 50s. Every day I wake up and do exactly what I did yesterday. The rinse and repeat life makes you numb. Kansas City, Missouri is home, the middle of good old USA, where hustling takes many forms just to survive. You will see the haves and have nots standing next to each other, and you will not know who is who. Everything here is a mindset. It's where capitalism rules, from the CEO to the dealer on the street. I'm neither of them. I'm your typical American office drone. I get up and go to work every day because I've been told the American dream is to do as you're told, blend in. When I pull into the parking lot, I put on my work face and act like I'm lucky to have a job. You're told in America you should feel lucky that you get to work, even if the pay is low and the work is hard. It builds character. It teaches you survival skills. Fuck this shit. Same. Different day. Steve, you coming to my office for a minute? This work can't wait. It's gotta get done. It can wait. Seriously, 
We need to talk. Time is money. Okay, I'll be in there in a minute. Steve, I asked you to come into my office because we have a couple things we need to go over. Okay. I, I really love this company. You're an amazing boss, even if you're the owner's brother. <laughs> Steve, I know you're one of our best workers. And with that being said, here's your termination package and your final paycheck. You're no longer welcome here. Your ethics are questionable. What? I thought this was my review. I'm the one that's been keeping the company afloat. You can't do this to me. I'll work longer and harder. The company is making some changes and we don't see you in our uh, future. Now, get the hell out of my office. Your time's up. Nepotism is a powerful weapon. You're no longer welcome here. <laughs> Quit crying, you snowflake. This is America. Call someone who cares. <laughs> ah, loser. <laughs> oh, loser. <laughs> loser. Cock shit, pussy butt, fuck ass, lick douche, fucker, cut, piss, pussy, fuck shit, ass, whole fucking cow shit, piss in a bucket of shit. What the fuck just happened to me? God damn, mother shit of pussy, fuck shit, ass, fuck, fart, ass, whole shit, pussy, shit, ass, shit, shit, fuck shit, ass. For real, my bank account ain't empty and I paid all my bills. Had my situation turned upside down to chill. Paradise, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Hey, King, you busy? No, what's going on? Can I stop by? Sure. By the way, who is this? It's Steve, your friend. I'll be by in about 20 minutes. Cool. Just come on in, man, when you get here. Ah. going on, man? Oh, not much. I decided to take the day off, and I got to thinking to myself, Steve, what can you do on your day off? Then I thought, I'll just go to my friend's house. King, he knows how to make a good day great. What are you doing? Count my money. What do it look like? Are you some kind of influencer? 
Hell no, I bought this off the internet. So you mean to tell me you spent $100 for every $100 bill you got? No, dumbass. I spent $10 and I got a bunch of fake money. Why would you want to have fake money? So I can look rich like the kids on the internet. Hmm. Maybe I should try that. You can't get away with looking rich with fake money. Why? Because I'm white? No. Because you're old. We're the same age. Yeah, but you're older. Plus, I look good. You got any beer? Yeah, go ahead, it's in there. <clears throat> Do you remember that time I was in kindergarten and I almost got kidnapped and the lady that saw the car drive off walked me to school and I told the cops and the teacher about the story and they started laughing because the teacher said I always make stories up? Man, I've been knowing you since you was four years old. What brings this up? You know what? That's when I lost faith in society. <coughs> you know what? You tell me that story every time something ain't right. You get off work. You ain't got no work today. Let's just kick it and have some fun, man. All right, yeah. Hell yeah. Now, see, that's the attitude right there. There you go. There you go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh. Hey, if you going to puke, take this outside. Take it outside. Hurry up. Hurry up. Take it outside. Man, what is wrong with this dude, man? He done flipped his wig, man. Told you. I told you. I tell you the truth, man. White people. <laughs> That's my guy, though. Wouldn't trade him for the world. You all right? Hey, buddy, give me all the dough that you got. Capitalism can't survive without the lower class. Have a good day.
fucking son of a bitch, motherfucker, cock, fuck, shit, motherfucking cock, son of a bitch, pussy, cock, cock, this, fuck, shit, oh, 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 Come on, answer the phone, you stupid motherfucker. Hello? Can I speak to Steve? Who's calling? This is Robert. I see you applied for one of our positions. I would like to start the onboarding process. You mean you want to hire me without a job interview? Yes, you are perfect for this position per your application. What kind of position are we talking about? Let's not worry about that at this stage. You will find out after the onboarding process. Is this the new norm for hiring people now? Show up at our training center tomorrow at 9 a.m. Okay. Are you going to give me an address and a point of contact? Yes, I'll email you everything you need to know, except your pay, benefits, and job position. All that will be discussed after the onboarding. Okay. I'll be looking out for that email. Thank you for being part of the team. Goodbye. Dispatch. Yeah, I was told to call this number when I get to the training center. For what? I guess I got some training videos I need to watch. Well, no one's here today, so come back tomorrow for the videos. You mean to tell me I drove 50 miles just to be told that no one is at the training center? Yep, that's just what happened. Come back tomorrow for the videos. Today is Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. No one is at the training center today, yet I'm to believe that someone will be at the training center tomorrow? Well, I said what I said. Come back Saturday for your training videos. Oh, what a surprise. What's going on? I haven't seen you in months. None. Just stopped by to see how you're doing. How's that doctor's appointment? Good. I should never have told you about that appointment. You worry too much. Dad, who said I was worrying? I'm just trying to have a conversation with you. I know you better than that. You don't just drop by to say hi, see how I'm doing. Do you need money again? No. What makes you think I need your help? The look in your eye tells me something is wrong. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Well, life's about solving some problems. You'll figure it out. Here. Take some money. Do you ever listen to me? I don't need your help. I'm in my 50s.
It's an insult to not take money from someone. Well, it's an insult to not listen to others. One day you'll get your life together. A real man would have a backbone. You know, I can never do anything right in your eyes. I'll never forget what you told me when I was 10 years old. You said that I'm the laziest son of a bitch that you've ever known, all because I wanted to play. I was 10 years old. That's what 10-year-olds do. They want to play. Man. Billing, how can I help you? You took money from my account, and I didn't even know I had a bill. And who am I speaking to? This is Steve. Account number is 456789. I live in Kansas City, Missouri, and my address is 3448 Prospect Avenue. You were notified of the bill. No, I was not. I did not get an email until after money was taken out of my account. It's our policy to take money from cards on file. You knew this when you signed the contract. You never sent me an email advising me of a bill. <laughs> it's your responsibility to be responsible over your account. How am I to know I have a bill unless you send me a notification? We notified you. Only after you took money out of my account. I'm unemployed and I'm broke. Had I known I had a bill with you guys, I would have called you and set up a payment plan. Sir, I hear you. This conversation isn't going to change anything. We have your money and there's really nothing I can do or you can do about it. You hear me? But you're not listening to me. You are not understanding that you did not notify me of this bill. All right, sir. Prove to me we didn't send you an email with notice of payment due. How in the hell can I prove to you that nothing happened? You can easily screenshot your emails. There. I just sent a screenshot of my emails to you now. Yeah, you didn't screenshot our emails. Jesus Christ, how can I screenshot emails that I never received? You have to know what you're doing. Our records show we sent you an email. I never received any emails. How many different ways do I have to tell you before you understand? Sir. Sir, this call is over. This is just how America works. This is not a me problem. This is a you problem. This call is over. Goodbye. Fuck this shit.
Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. Mm. No. No. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. That was quick. Is this our first date? This is a job interview. I applied for the job online. Oh, I remember. Um, my name's Elizabeth. Hey, I'm interested to know what you have to say. Are you wanting to know about my job qualifications? Well, I want to know about you. You know, your likes, your hobbies. Do you have kids? Are you financially stable? Do you like kids? Are you married, divorced? Do you mind a woman who has kids with another man? You know, how big is your, uh, <laughs> your house? What's any of this got to do with his job? Well, see, this could turn into a long-term relationship, and I need to know these things before I commit. Well, I like to play chess. I drink wine at night to relax. And I'm currently unemployed, so I'm looking for Wait, a job. Did you say you're unemployed? Yeah, that's why I'm here at the job interview. Oh, no, I can't be with a man with no job. A woman like me needs someone who's financially stable. Ma'am, with all due respect, I don't think we're on the same page, so I'm going to pass on this job. You're too old anyway. Kansas City sucks. We'll go to Atlanta. <sighs> Fuck this shit. You're hired. Excuse me? Did you say I'm hired? Yes, yes I did. I just sat down. We didn't even have an interview. Easy peasy, just like that. What kind of company is this? One that'll hire anyone. We can't find good help. Okay. How much do you pay? What are the hours? What kind of benefits do you offer? I'm not at liberty to talk about those issues. I can't go into a job not knowing the answers to these questions. Company policy requires me to ask these following questions. What's your favorite food? Do you like red, blue, green, or yellow? Are you married? Do you have any kids? Cash or credit when you shop? Over or under for the installation of toilet paper? What do you identify as? Huh? Look, do you want this job or not? I got 300 more interviews today, and I don't want to be here either. I hate this company. I'll think about it and get back with you. Oh, by the way, my name is Tim. Kind of interrogation? Yes. It's an interview. I'm Cliff, and I want to know why did you apply for this job? Because you have zero qualifications. I've been in this line of work for 13 years. It's on my resume. Is that a zit? Yeah, I grew it last night, so I look younger for this interview. Looks? 
They're not everything because here, and I'm sorry, sir, based off your age, we can't hire you. And I'm sorry. And good luck. Isn't that age discrimination? I wouldn't hire you with that attitude anyway, okay? Now, thanks for exposing your combativeness right off the bat. And just so you know, I'm older than you. Hmm. So I guess black don't crack. Not unless you smoke it. But that's beside the point, okay? Now, you're not hired. You're not welcome here, and I want you to leave. Now get out of here before I call security. Get out of here before I call security. I'd like to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a part of this interview. Okay, so, I, who, do I, we, who do we have here today, this, this sweetheart? This is Steve. Uh, he's here oh, for Steve. an interview. Is that correct, oh. Steve? First, let me introduce oh. my lovely associate in part of the crime, as it were. This is Ms. Madam Tisnes, mm -hmm. uh, our doctor, oh, Madam Tisnes. Yeah, we'll get to that in a few part, minutes. Yes, and I am Dr. Mm. Harold Benjamin mm -hmm. Ignatius Gandalf oh, Pecure. Huh? <laughs> His sexy you can call me Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I need I need what? to know just something real quick. Is this one of those formal interviews or is this one of those casual no, interviews? No, no, make it casual. Put the boy at ease, honey. Like that. Like really casual? Yeah, like, let it all hang out. In other like words, that. you know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> oh let's see. What? You're a uh, what's his name again? Steve. Is that that, that, right? that is, is that your real name Steve. or is that your your stage name? <clears throat> Baby, well, Steve, I must say I do like what I see so far. Um, do you like long, hard hours? Are you that kind of an employee? Oh, that marks that off of the list. That's oh, a good yeah. one. Mm -hmm. How much experience you got in this yes. business, Yes, how much son? experience do you have? Yeah. I haven't done this line of work since I was in my 20s, but when I was in this line of work, I could work a hole all day long. My hands would be sore at the end of the day from squeezing and holding on to that hole real hard all day long. Nice, I like that. Um, I do want to uh, want to check out that handshake. Can I can I shake your hand? Ooh, nice and firm. I like yeah. firm, and it's hard, and your skin is just perfect. Oh, he's got some hair on his arms. Do you have hair on your chest too, there, Mr. Steve? Do you have hair on your chest? You do? Oh, I like a man with a hair on his chest. Okay. It says a Getting lot your hands me. dirty is an honest um, day's work. So since uh, I don't normally say this, but in your case, I will make an exception. I would like to personally mm, train you, <laughs> shall we say? Oh, she is a strict disciplinarian, but let me tell you, you will have a smile on your face, even part. fighting through the pain. <laughs> you like a little pain there, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> Just grit your teeth and grin and bear it, boy. Take it like a man, baby. So I like to. She puts see. on those thigh high boots. I like to. Oh, see. kind of wades oh, around yeah. there, boy. I hope you need your back worked out. That's right. It'll Ooh, be good. She get it. So get it. Shh, don't give it away. Don't mm. give it away. I don't want to scare him. So uh, yeah. we don't work a regular work day. We start around 10 p.m. and mm -hmm. we we knock off about six mm. in the morning. Yeah, around six. Sometimes seven if it's a really, whew, really good session. Control yourself, Ms. <laughs> Madam. I hope this company's not into micromanaging. I like to be left alone and work all day long by myself. That's just how farmers work. Farmers? What's that got to do with working in the adult film industry? Well, maybe he's a... Uh... Hung like a horse, huh? That maybe be. that's what he's thinking yeah, about. Maybe so. That's what I'm hoping to see. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is getting very strange. 
Your application on the internet said you were looking for an adult to work in the farm industry. Well, that must have been a typo. We're looking yeah. for people to work in the adult film industry with us here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, sweetheart, Steve, right? Would you mind standing on up? There you go. Now I need you to drop your door, Let's see sweetheart. if you're suited for this kind of work. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Oh my God! That Sorry, is that beautiful. Is, that is like, Ooh. honey. That is that is as that big ain't as even that's a mouthful, is it, honey? That's Whoa. like that's ah, that's it. Son, that's all you have? Oh, from honey, malnutrition so is a boy that... or something? <laughs> oh my God! Like I said, you know you that, could make that, three thousand dollars a day. That's just a nibble. Day, that ain't a mouthful. That's just like, a tiny there's snack. Nothing that's like a little. To that's do. not even a Vienna sausage, it's honey. Not. But you oh. know we do have. We could use a stunt double. We could bring we in a could. stunt we double. Do a stunt. Uh, honey, why are you leaving? You know, even if we you can't get the money, mustard, you could always get the job. Honey, we got some back. jobs. Like, come on back. I tell tonight. you what, if you don't work in front of the camera, oh, come on back. You can work behind. You can do the cleanup crew. He could do cleanup. Fifty dollars a day. All you need, son. Yeah, come on back. Come on back. Can you believe he does not want to take a job with us? That poor boy. Oh my God. You just can't go down. People don't want to work in. No, they don't want to work. Oh boy. All day I with you, darling. All day long, I would. Oh, I would extend myself, mm-hmm. if you know what I mean. You do extend well, baby. Yeah. You do, you do. Ooh, honey. I wonder what happened to the people that I worked with in the past. If humans had an asshole of a dog, it would save time and trees. They don't wipe their ass and don't smell like shit. Yet, human wipe their ass and still smell like shit. Why did the lady spit on me at the grocery store last week? Why am I awake? Will I ever find a job? Why did some of the teachers hit me? Why does wet flour mixed with yeast smell like ass? If America is so rich, why are there so many homeless people? If America is so free, why are there so many people in prison? Why do my thoughts sound like I was born and raised in India? Where did this accent come from? Why are some people not as lucky as me? I beat cancer. Why can't everyone beat cancer? Why do people hear strange noises when they can't sleep? Why do I sweat in my sleep? I don't move. I lay here in front of the fan. Who is this? It's 4 a.m. This is Dispatch. Why are you not at work? I don't work for you. I don't have a job. What's going on? You're on the schedule. Why are you in bed? Like I said, I don't work for you. It's 4 a.m. And I'm sleeping. Okay, well, this will go on your file. A few more no-shows and you will be fired. I don't work for you. Answer the phone, you stupid motherfucker. Hello? Robert here. Why have you not done any of your training or showed up for work? Your company's never contacted me or hired me. I'm sorry to hear this. I'll make sure this does not happen again. Can you show up to the training center in about 20 minutes? I can't right now. Actually, I'm driving to another job interview. Oh, so you're no longer interested in working for us. I didn't say that. 
I'll put you on the schedule for next week. Is that okay? I guess. I'll just have to see what next week has in store for me. Great. Goodbye. What are you doing? Sit down, I don't need to be seeing this. Oh, God. So what's, uh, Steve, what's your last name, Steve? I go by Steve. Well, yeah, whatever. Uh, before I say anything, firstly, I want to thank you for taking the time to interview me. Secondly, I drove over four hours to your facility in Sioux City, Iowa, only to be told by the front desk to go back home since all interviews are now video calls only. What the fuck is that about? Tell you what, Steve, let's just get through this. Uh, these Zoom interviews suck. Rather have you here in person, you know, shake your hand like a man, uh, see what you're worth there, see what, see, see, see how you walk, see how you talk, see how you act. But, you know, God dang it, we got all these snowflake claws. All these God dang snowflake woke people want to sit at home and get on Zoom and do an interview. So it's all got to be fair. Can't have anybody in person. So. Yeah, I'd love to have you in person, Steve, but uh, um, we're just going to do this uh, via the intro web. That'll work. Man, you look like you drank a pony keg last night. Are you okay to do this interview? Oh. E so, you're making fun of the way I look, Steve? I'm a little lost there. I used to be a runway model, Steve, 45 years ago. Are you missing something here? Uh, what's what's the issue, the way I look? Runway? As in the airport? Yeah, well, I can't tell this. Uh, not going well for you right now, Steve. Tell you what, hang, hang on one second. I'm going to call the front desk. Yeah, can you can, uh, send Consuela down here with some towels, please? Yeah. Appreciate it. Tell you what, Stephen boy, Consuela likes the way I look. I'll tell you that right now. Trying to clown there, Steve. Fashion Runway talking about high end NYC fashion, LA, New York City connection, Fashion Runway. Consuela tell you the way I look. I'm sorry, my mind's not in the right place right now. Yeah, Steve, sounds like your mind's kind of halfway up your ass right now. I'm not sure if you're cut out for being a man of our company, but uh, we'll continue. We started this, we'll finish it. Tell you what, Steve, let's go ahead and get along with the official part of the interview. So... Uh, just so you're that aware, this, uh, this is a recorded interview and, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and, uh, strike down this list of, uh, items. Why would you want to work for this company? Go ahead. I'm unemployed and I need money to pay my bills. It also sounds intriguing as to what your company does. Well, that's one plus one equals two. You don't have a job. You don't have any money. Uh, but that's strike two for you. Maybe a foul ball for strike three, which you can't have a strikeout. Anyway, what I can tell you right now is let's pick up the pace here, Steve, because this is not going well for you. What? What does this company do anyway? I mean, it's not a re re theoret theoretor theoret rhetorical question i just need to know i mean i have no idea what my own company does all, all i do is interviews why don't you tell me your knowledge of our fine institution here that you want to be a part of this company does training videos for various companies what's that sound steve what did you hear that noise what noise 
sound like a handful of rocks wet in the water. Like, like you're out in the lake. Are you at the lake, Steve? Oh, okay, so uh, we're we're gonna a little little uh, little uh, uh, not sure what's going on. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and read off some uh, points of action. So these points of action are. These points of action will cause you to get written up. As you can see, I've never been fired from a job, Steve, and I'm, I'm, I've never been unemployed. So uh, not a lot of sympathy for your case. I think you need to try harder. So if you do get this job, let's not get you fired. Here's what's going to get you written up and eventually get you fired. If you go to the bathroom more than two times a day, control your bladder, Steve. It's okay. You, you can work on this. If your food stinks up the break room, we all got to live here, Steve. We can't, no garlic, no dang jalapenos. If you cough, you're done. It means you're sick. Number four, if you're sick. Well, number three and number four are kind of the same. If you cough, you get sick. you sick, you cough. Can't have any people walking around getting sick and coughing. Oh, uh, what else? Let me see. Um, if you start asking a question right now, it'll get written up. Okay. I think kind of on the same page now, Stephen. If you disagree with anybody while working, we're, we're all here to get along. We can't be in disagreement of the process and the project and the hard work we put in here. If you make fun of me, which I think you've already done a couple times right now, that'll get you written up. If you use the word if more than nine times in a conversation, I can't get written up for that, sorry. If you do it, that's a check mark. Do you have any questions about these write-ups, Steve? No. That's over nine ifs. You're getting written up. Yeah, welcome to the Sport House Club, Steve. And that's not helping you either. <sighs> Tell you what, why don't, why don't I go ahead? Why don't I pretend to write you up and you haven't even been you haven't even been hired and I'm writing you up. Okay. <sighs> As if, who's it gonna be? You gonna do it? Yes. All right. Well, if you don't have any questions, I think we're probably good here. You hear me? What the hell's wrong with this phone? Hello? Thanks for coming. Oh, shit. It's your son, Steve. Well, the door's open. Just come on in. How's everything going? I wasn't expecting you to show up. Mom, why you say that? I just want to stop by and see how you're doing. Yeah. Same old shit. Watching all these internet videos on how shitty America's become. Why do you go down those wormholes? Why don't you just go for some walks? Damn it, Steve. I don't want to talk about it. 
because you don't want to hear what I have to say about these liberal assholes destroying America. Please, Mom, I've asked you to stop talking like this. I'm your mother. I can say or do whatever I want. You know, I was fired from my job. I've been on multiple job interviews and still no luck. Well, life sucks, sweetheart. Deal with it. I've never seen companies gaslight applicants like they are doing today. They lie about their wages, their benefits, their hours worked. It's ridiculous. Damn it, Steve. You always exaggerate your lies. This is the United States of America. Companies can say and do whatever they want to hire you. And then they can treat you any damn way they please. This is America. Deal with it. Are you okay with this kind of behavior? Just shut up. I don't want to discuss this anymore. If liberal assholes like you would leave America, things would be so much better. Please, please, please stop. I don't want to destroy this country. I even served in the military, and I'm your son. I don't trust the military or the government, but you will believe the lies that you hear on the news and our government. Ah, oh, son, you must be brainwashed. I've got to go. I hope you have a better day. I'm sorry you feel this way. Bye. Whatever. What a surprise. What brought you here? You know, the last time I was here, I was fired from my job. And I've been looking for work every day since then. And I have not had any luck. I've been rejected every single time. Would you stop complaining? You're always complaining. You're so negative. Maybe it's your attitude. Maybe it's your face. Stop blaming the companies. It's all your fault. I blame you. If you think what I'm talking about my life is negative, then that goes to show how easy your life is. Capitalism in America has turned into a monster. It's now an octopus. It's not like what it was in the 70s. Capitalism makes this country great. It's about choices. My choices in my life have been listening to your advice and other people's advice, and look where it's got me. I'm sitting here getting backhanded comments from you while you grin in my face. I do not fit the future plans of these companies in America. Capitalism has turned into a cancer, and it's destroying my life. You must be doing something wrong. What makes you think I'm always doing something wrong? You're always complaining. All right, I'll complain too. My life has been rough. The price of ice cream's gone up. Jesus Christ, there's one of your snide remarks again. If I had not listened to you most of my life, I would be better off right now. If I had moved to Hollywood, I'd have been a famous actor. I'd have won an Oscar. I'm trying to be open to you and tell you what's going on in my life, and all you do is give me backhanded comments. You're not helping the situation at all. Every time I talk, you either cut me off or make fun of me. The only reason I'm still alive is I'm afraid if I died, you wouldn't survive. Plus, you're not making a point, you're just complaining. Wow, thanks for the encouraging words. Good luck. I mean it. And don't knock capitalism. It's what makes America function. Tell that to the poor and the homeless people. Oh. Steve. This is Steve. 
Hi, Steve. My name is Karen, and I came across your application. I would love to set up an interview with you. Well, that'd be great. I'll show up when I'm ready. Okay. Do you have the address? No, I don't. Give it to me, and I'll be right over. Okay, I'll email it to you. I'll wait as long as it takes. I'm really looking forward to meeting you in person. I know you are. Are you interviewing me? I don't see anyone else around here. I think you're interviewing me. Hi, I'm Karen. Um, I have been looking over your resume and you are quite impressive. I mean, you have three master's degrees and a PhD in probability and statistics? Yes, I'm the best at numbers in predicting the future. I will take this small business and turn it into a Fortune 500 company in no time at all. Very confident. I like that. It comes with the territory. Aggressive capitalism and money make this the best country in the world. Sometimes you have to gamble on a situation where the statistical numbers are low and the probability is leaning towards failure. But when you come out ahead, that feeling is great. I like the way you think. Uh, would you like to hear more about what we do, maybe the work hours or benefits? Nah. Statistics show that the probability of someone sugarcoating their facts during an interview is 100% of the time. So let's cut to the chase. You need me to better this company, and I'm the best at what I do. You're very dedicated. Actually, your resume shows that you've only worked with one company since your college days. Um, it does also show that you haven't worked in the last year. Could you tell me why that is? I decided to take a break and travel the world. Now I'm ready to tackle the competition and rise to the top once again. Okay. Could you give me an example of a time where the company was losing money, there was difficulty with coworkers, and then what you did to resolve that situation? I cut overhead and fixed the work environment at the same time by firing the difficult workers. And within one month, that company was moving in the right direction. Sometimes you have to put the bottom dollar ahead of your co-workers and your family. When you better the company, you better the community, even if others have to suffer for it. Well, I have heard enough. When can you start? Tomorrow at the crack of dawn. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. We start at 10 a.m. <laughs> you must be Steve, my new coworker. Yes, yes, I am. And one day, I'm going to be running this company. Hey, you're early on the first day on the job. I was out late last night celebrating this company's success and hiring me. Otherwise, I'd have been here much sooner. Where's all the other workers at? By the way, what's your name? I didn't catch it. What do you, what do you mean? It's... It's just you and me, buddy. Oh, sorry, I, I'm Fred. I, I don't mean to be rude by not introducing myself. What? With me added to the company, we're soon gonna be doing the work of 50 people. I'm gonna go take a break. I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes. A break?
Already? We just got here. I'm no fan of brakes. As a matter of fact, I'm no fan of watches or clocks. If I had it my way, there wouldn't even be any bathrooms in this building. People take advantage of using the bathroom on the company time. It's ridiculous. People need to work straight through and then go home, sleep, and come back to work and do it all over again. Well, that was an awfully long time. Might as well not even show up to work if you're not going to be an office drone. I was on break for five minutes. This is your first day here and you're acting like you're the CEO. Chill. Look, I can't help it that I'm confident and great at everything that I do. <laughs> There's a difference between confidence and being outright obnoxious and arrogant, all right? And you're, you're bordering that, all right? Can we... Can we just get back to work, all right? Enough with the chit-chat. Yeah. Yeah, last night I slammed about 15 beers. You can come on by tonight and slam a few with me if you want. This job is a cakewalk. Anybody can do it. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, you want to come on by and slam a few beers with good old Steve? After work tonight? I don't drink. I go home to my peace and quiet. Oh man, you don't know what you're missing. I'm okay with not drinking with coworkers. Not Steve. Steve does what Steve wants, and Steve is leaving for the day. See you tomorrow. Be safe. And remember, don't come in hungover again. We've got to meet our goals.
Where'd you come from, little buddy? Did you follow me in the house? Did you follow me in the house? Oh, you're such a cute little doggy. Yes, you are. I've never seen you before, but I think you followed me in the house. I think I'll call you Little Man. Yeah, you. You will be called Little Man because you are a little man. Doody, 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 doody. There you go. Go play. Go play. Go play. Steve has to work out. Steve needs to stay in shape. Steve's going to be downstairs lifting weights. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. A little playful little thing, aren't you there, buddy? Playful little thing. Look out, little buddy. Look out, little man. Steve's got to get dressed for his massive workout. Yeah, little buddy. Smell that little man? Oh. <coughs> oh. Oh. little man I gotta get to work I gotta go to work buddy oh shit not again damn it
thinking so dirty, I may never get clean. You're looking so hot, you better hold. My oh my, what do we got going on up over here? I won't take all the blame, you know you check me out. Hey, sweet cheeks, get your to tight little ass on up over here. I got something for you. Hey, baby, how's it going? You, you got any cash for me? Come on. You got any cash? Fuck no, man. This is goddamn America. Get yourself a job. Go to the employment office and apply for some work. Jesus Christ, don't nobody ask for handouts in America. This is the true blooded country where people earn their cash the hard way. Get a job and you fucking stink. Are you fucking kidding me right now, you pussy ass bitch? You're the one that fucking stinks in here. You fucking smell like beer and piss. And you know what? Get the fuck out of here, you bitch. You fucking smell like penis breath. I got your fucking penis right here, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Make me go. It's a dribble. Make me go like a baby on a nipple. Make me go. You're gonna get soaked. Make me one more time. I wanna explore. Hey, how are you? You got any money for me, baby? I hadn't planned on this, but I gotta say, fuck it. It's in them long life taste the salty sweat Delicious lips, I got you dripping wet Working in circles, there's no need to hush I use my tongue, I'm gonna make you gush Make you gush So, how was last night? Steve works on Steve time. Steve does what Steve wants. I was told during the interview that we work eight hours a day, no more, and a lot less. Huh? Where did this come from? So, tell me about yourself. Uh, did you go to college? Do you have any hobbies? Are you married? I know what's best for me. You don't. How do you think I got my degree from the prestigious Kraft University in Okaboji, Iowa? And my hobbies are none of your damn business. I'm trying to be friendly. We need to get along. I can run a 10K in 27 minutes, and I can bench press 475 pounds. <laughs> I can also eat 12 large pizzas from the joint down the street. Yeah, that all sounds a little far-fetched, especially with your age and build. I mean, you got a lot of girth on you. I'm sorry, but... I've also owned six businesses, and I've sold them for millions of dollars each. I do this to kill time. It's a hobby of mine to help startup businesses grow and become successful like mine. What more do you want me to say? Collections, this is Fred. How can I help you? Yeah, I got a letter in the mail saying my bill from the hospital went to collections. I can't pay this damn bill in full. Yeah, I, I understand your frustrations. We're, we're here to help you. Uh, we can put you on a monthly payment plan. Uh, can I get your account number? Jesus, where the hell is that on this damn collections notice? It'll, it'll, it'll be in the upper right-hand corner. 722-586-71. Okay, I, I have this, uh, account associated with a... Jim Boom? Is this, is this Jim who I'm talking to? Who the hell else would it be? I'm not a woman. Of course I'm Jim Boom. What kind of monthly payment are we talking about? Okay, Jim, I see that you owe $25,000 to the hospital. Uh, we can put you on a payment plan of 2500 a month. Who the hell is we? Do you got a turd in your pocket? I can pay 50 bucks a month. If I had $2,500, I wouldn't be talking to your sorry ass. Uh I I'm sorry about your financial situation, Jim. Uh, the lowest that we can go is... 
About 500 a month? Go out, jackass. I'm paying 50 bucks a month and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, well, if, if that's all that you can do, then then we can work with you. This company's here to help you and not not make your life rough, okay? Uh, I'll go ahead and put it in the system what you will pay and what you said. Eat shit. Why are you so soft? You can't let the customer be in control. You've got to be in control while they think they're in control. With your strategy, this company's going to be out of business in two months. Hey, I'm a good-hearted man, okay? I truly do feel for people like that last caller. Capitalism, greed, and aggressiveness is what makes America great. Follow my lead. Yes. Good day today. Oh, who the fuck is this now? Hello? Why, hello. How are you doing today? Who's calling? My name is Jim. You entered a contest about a year ago, and I'm calling to let you know that you had just won $10,000. I don't remember entering in any contest. Oh, you entered. You're in our database. I understand how you could forget with worries about your home life, your family, your job, your bills, your sex life, your drinking life, you know, eating food, your medical bills. One day leads into the next. But trust me on this one. You won. You know, now that I think of it, I've been busy and the lack of money has been on my mind. You know, the inflation in the American economy has morphed. It's killing me. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, trust me. I feel your pain. I feel this contest picked the right winner. Your life will be better because of this phone call. Oh, well, this is so overwhelming. Uh, will you mail the check to me? Oh, this is the technology age. We no longer mail checks because of porch pirates. I will need your banking information from either your checking or savings account, starting with your routing number. Yes! That's perfect. You can expect a direct deposit in three to five business days. Thank you for the information and have a great day. I can't believe I'm witnessing this. I, I feel so disgusted. See how that works, buddy? It's perfect. How can, how can you do that? Didn't you watch how I did that? Once you hang up, you block their number so they can't call you when you start taking money out of their checking account. <laughs> that sounds illegal. Not paying off debt is illegal. We're saving them from legal issues. They're giving us their banking information. We're not hacking into the banks and getting their information. <laughs> to them. How? The caller did admit he entered into a contest. I did nothing wrong. <laughs> it's called lying. Go ahead, pick up the phone, call a deadbeat. It's their responsibility to pay off their debt. It's our responsibility to be the adults here. It's the American way. It's the American system. It's capitalism. It's the way this world runs. <laughs> Hello? Is, is this Mr. Jones? 
No, this is not Mr. Jones. Can't you tell I'm a woman? Are you ignorant? No, 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 ma'am. I, 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 I apologize. I, I'm calling uh, on on behalf of the the contest that you won, uh, or the the contest that you entered five five months ago when you won five thousand dollars. Congratulations. You jackass! <laughs> Don't insult me ever again with this. I'm here to claim your prize, ma'am. You have got to be kidding me. You're one of those scam artists. I can tell. No, 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 ma'am. I, I, I'm not. I, I have your information in our, in our database. I never entered a contest. Five months ago, I was in the hospital recovering from a botched BBL. Don't insult me with this scam again. Don't ever call here again. Ma'am? Ma'am? Are, are you still there? Hello? I think she hung up on me. What did I do wrong? <clears throat> Fred, you've got a lot to learn, young man. You need to follow my relaxation method. It's called <clears throat> mind... Oh, Jesus, what's it called? Oh, auto-suggestion. Auto. Manifestation. Um, close your eyes and put, put, put your hands on the desk and, and, and repeat after me. Be, you know, do what I say and do what I do and you will get through to the gates of income. <clears throat> Got her relax or massage that mind to get that dying. Gotta relax and massage that mind to get that dying. Gotta 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 massage that mind to get that dying. <laughs> Gotta massage that mind to get that dime. Oh, 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 you fool! You actually think that works? You just, you just, no, you just, no, just, no. Here, here, take this book and read it. Just take, take that book and read it. That'll get you to get. Oh the my cuss god! Why, why would anybody have this book? This is, this Trust is me, it works. It, it will, it will get the customers to do what you need them to do. I just, don't, I don't read that book. Okay. I, I tell you what. We we've worked a long hard day. Let's just go home. Let's come on. Let's the, get out of here. Are you the, let's, the manager. What? Let's get out of here. Let's let's go home. Come on. We've had a long day. Let's it's ten thirty. Let's get out of here. Come on. We're done for the day. Okay. Let's go. Take that book. Take the book. Take the book. Take the book. Uh, I'm taking it. Gosh. Take the book. This is not. Let's, come on. Let's go. I don't go. think this is work. Let's go. Come on, let's go. No, I don't, I don't, I don't even. Uh. Fuck this shit.
when someone chops their hands through the air, it's a power move saying, this is who I am, and I've made up my mind, and, and nobody can change that. It's a very definitive and authoritative move. You see, politicians and CEOs do it all the time, gesture a lot. Hi, I'm Fred, and, and, and you have collections that you need to pay off and, and do it now, or else bad things will happen, so please pay your debts. Hi, I'm Fred, you need to pay your debts, do it, or else you're going to get chopped by the government. Uh, I don't want to be like Steve. Steve's an idiot. How does he do this? Hi, I'm I'm Fred. Pay your debt, ma'am. Please stop yelling at me, and 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 pay your debt. Y yes, you do. You, ma'am, debt. Oh, yeah. No, don't do yeah. Yeah. Don't do Steve does. Here's oh, Steve. You're here awfully early. Yeah, I'm trying to get ahead, you know, to make sure to... <sighs> let's go feed these suckers some lines and get some money. Come on, let's go. I know you've learned a lot over the night by reading this beautiful book. Come on, buddy. Uh, okay, okay. I there's got to be a more honest way to get people to pay their debts. Yeah, it's called not go to collections and being responsible. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay. How does he do this? What a Hi, Fred, and, and pay your debt or else. Thanks. Okay, what are you doing? I'm the only one that's carrying this company. So I'm stretching out and getting ready for the day's work. Plus, when you lift heavy weights every day like I do, your muscles tend to get stiff, so you gotta stretch out. Oh. What college did you say you went to again? Cam University. Okay, because before I thought you said it was Kraft University. Look, Cam, Kraft, I still got my PhD. What difference does it make and why are you asking all these questions? I just find it all hard to believe. Whatever, I've got work to do. Steve? Get it together. Remember, Steve, you're doing this for the love of your life. No one can figure you out, not even Fred. You are corporate America. You've got to make the rest of the world believe that. You are the best. No one's better than you. <laughs> but mommy says it's liberal assholes like you that's destroying this country. <laughs> but daddy says maybe it's the shape of your face. Maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe it's your attitude. Everything is your fault. <laughs> Steve, Steve, you're better than that. You're better than what people think of you. They cannot catch you and what the hell you are trying to do with this country. Come on, Steve. You got to get it together. What, what is that smell? I smell.
smelt this before. Oh, beer jackpot. Liquid courage, best medicine a man can have. Oh. Oh. Okay, Steve, now that your mind is clear and you're thinking normal and you're calm, you can go back in there and... Oh. Keep conning Fred and the rest of the world into believing that you're something, that you're something else. <clears throat> oh, oh, on the count of three, let's go. One, two, three. Because you're number one, Steve. Let's go. Okay, Mrs. Needlemeyer, I'm gonna go ahead and process that payment. And once I do, you will be all caught up, okay? Okay, well we appreciate you working with us, Mrs. Needlemeyer, and you are now all caught up. All right, well, you have a great day. Take care, okay? All right, bye. <clears throat> Can I ask you an honest question? Sure. How did you end up at this place doing this job every day with a smile on your face? Yeah, you know, um, I guess one day I was walking by and I saw this company and I looked them up on the internet and I, you know, I love talking to people and getting to know them. And I thought this company would just be a great place to do just that. I smile and have joy when I'm talking to people because every day's a blessing and I, I love helping people out, so. Interesting. So you just do this job to talk to people? Money is not your focus? If you want money, you ain't got money. I do this out of love, not for money. I hate irresponsible people and deadbeats. Those two combined will make you poor for the rest of your life and capitalism will eat you alive. If you do not have drive or if you're not responsible, you're not going to survive in this country. If you're happy about what you did yesterday, then you've done nothing today. You know, one, one quote that I live by is that you become what you hate. And I don't have any hate for anybody. Well, I guess we do have something in common. How so? I also do this job out of love. I love helping companies grow and succeed. That's what makes capitalism survive. I don't need this job. I'm filthy rich. Hello? Why, hello. How are you doing? I'm calling to let you know that you have won the $10,000 contest that you entered last week. You must be saying a joke to me. I don't have any time for a joke right now. This isn't a joke. You're in our system as a winner. Because you know what happened to me today. I called the benefits office and I was on the phone 43 minutes on hold with the music. 
la la. I didn't even like the music. And then I found out I was number 17 in line. And they said, well, listen, you, we could, I mean, they say nothing, you know, but it comes up on the phone. You could, like, you know, they, you, they call you back if you want them to. I said, yeah, call me back. So, see, I thought that was them when you called, and then it was you saying a joke. And, you know, I really, I got to talk to them because... I, well, you know, Leonard, he's a blue mumble fish. They're very, very delicate. You gotta feed him like three times a day about, like a three quarters of a flake. You gotta, you know, measure it. And, and I just, I haven't been able to buy any of that because, you know, my check didn't come. So he gets for his three o'clock feeding, sticks his little head up, and, you know, I just, I, I just almost cry because I don't even have like a fourth of a flake to give him so you know i i got it I, it went if i do get my check today i'm gonna just get on the bus and go to the pet store that's first thing i'm getting is leonard's food so you know i just i can't talk to you right now because i gotta go check the mailbox i think i hear the mailman right now um um uh I, i'm 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 Sir, I'm very sorry to hear this. My condolences. Uh, I must have dialed the wrong number. Uh, I'll let you go. Goodbye, and and try to have the best day that you can have. So I'm gonna have to hang up. So yes, uh -huh, goodbye. Yes, I'm telling you goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Well, wow, that was an awfully short phone call. What happened, you meet your match? No, it was the wrong phone number. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. You playing the piano over there? I'm working. Okay. Looks like it's almost time to go. Do you have any big plans for tonight? Look, if you're asking me out on a date, I'm going to have to decline. I've got a hot date with a beautiful woman tonight. Yeah, it wasn't, but have fun. See you tomorrow. Be safe. And remember, don't come in hungover again. Make you go Like a baby on the ball. Oh man, I really. Oh, oh I really like what I see. Oh. And you, you feel so thick and huge in my hand. I hope you don't make a mess when I bring you up to my mouth. Work it, girl. Work it. My name is Pam, and I'm the therapist for this 12-step program. What? Why are you looking at me? This is where you introduce yourself. My name is Steve. Yeah, it's Steve. And why are you here, Steve? It's court ordered. The judge gave me two options. Either go to jail or come here. I chose the easier of the two, so that's why I'm here. We're not here to judge. We're here to support your journey to recovery. How can I be a criminal? Everyone drinks and drives. 
I'm a product of the American environment, the American dream, the American corporate world. Plus, I've got a PhD from Kraft University from Okaboji, Iowa. Oh, and how does that make you feel, Steve? Like your typical American. Well, we hope to better ourselves over time. This isn't a one and done kind of session. If I had it my way, I wouldn't be here. I've done nothing wrong. Well, the first step to healing is admitting that you have a problem. I do have a problem. Oh, well, that's good to admit. Steve, you're on the right road to recovery. Jesus. I have a problem with the fact that I'm forced to be here when I've done nothing wrong and I could be doing something else. Like I said, this will take some time, and there is no judgment here. So what if I drink? I'm just doing what everybody else does. Finding your trigger points is the first step on this journey. So why don't you tell me what led up to you getting arrested for a DUI? Well, hmm, I went on a two-week bender. Not the kind where you miss work, but the kind where you drink till you pass out. Then I would wake up the next day, drink a few more beers to get rid of the shakes, and head off to work. And why were you on a two-week bender? I was getting stressed out from the corporate world, the company that I worked for, the lies that I was living just to gain a spot in the workforce, and how it was hurting others. It sounds like it was really hurting you more than you were willing to admit. I have never had any trust in authority. Hmm. Tell me more about that. Why and where does that come from? When I was in kindergarten, I was walking to school, and this guy was following me in his car. I got so scared that I ran into this lady's house. I was just as surprised as she was surprised, since she was folding clothes in her underwear and I wasn't her son. I told her what was going on, so she looked outside the window, and the stranger that was following me drove off. She walked me to school. My mother met us there. I told the cops and the teacher what had happened, how this guy was trying to kidnap me. The teacher told the cops that I like to tell lies and make stories up. So they just ignored me, didn't believe anything that I said. And that's when I, that's when I lost faith in society and started hating authority. And how does that tie into your drinking behavior? Everything's connected. What are you here for? What's your issue? This is my job and I'm here to help. Come again? Remember, Steve, we don't judge here. I'm not judging. I'm just asking a question. I want to know your backstory. I think this is a good time to end the session. Just remember, we are here to help you. If you feel the urge, you can reach out, call us anytime. But just know that you're on your way to healing, and you might be a better, happier, healthier you after all of this is done. You might learn to see a more positive side of things. I guess. We'll see. Only time will tell.
How's your day going, Steve? It's going great. I take life one day at a time. Good for you. Did you get a haircut? You look different. Nope. Haven't had a haircut in three months. Can we help you? Yeah, show me to my office. <laughs> Excuse us? Who are you? My name's Greg. I'm the boss here. When and how did this happen? Uh, we weren't told about any new hires. I'm running the show now. That's all you need to know. Now, I'll find my own office since you both are clueless. What's this all about? <laughs> It's about to get real, real hellish. The two of you have been slacking. My brother has cameras all over this building. He sent me here to clean shit up. Your brother? Who the hell is your brother and what's he got to do with this company? My brother is the owner of this company. Stop asking questions. This is not school and I'm not a teacher. Get the work. Oh. 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 It's a stress ball. I squeeze it whenever I get stressed out. It's replaced my drinking. Here, try it. It works. Hmm. Oh. Oh. I can see how this works. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to need you with the owner's brothers barking at us. Yes, we are. We're going to need you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need you. Oh, you're gonna be here. And I'm gonna squeeze you. And yeah, yeah, we are. Oh, cause he's gonna be yelling at us all day. Yeah, he will. He'll be yelling. Mm hmm. But you're gonna be here. Good little stress ball. Good. Oh. Thank you. Get the work. I can hear you both talking to each other and not collecting money from these irresponsible debtors. We've been talking on the phone. That's even worse. Stay off of the phones. We have to be on the phone to talk to the customers. I knew that, smart ass. What was that all about? I don't know. I, I don't think he actually knows what we do or what this company does. Get to work. Stop all that talking. Steve, you come into my office for a minute. This work can't wait. It's got to get done. It can wait. Seriously, 
We need to talk. Time is money. Okay, I'll be in there in a minute. Steve, I asked you to come into my office because we have a couple things we need to go over. Okay. I, I really love this company. You're an amazing boss, even if you're the owner's brother. <laughs> Steve, I know you're one of our best workers. And with that being said, here's your termination package and your final paycheck. You're no longer welcome here. Your ethics are questionable. What? I thought this was my review. I'm the one that's been keeping the company afloat. You can't do this to me. I'll work longer and harder. The company is making some changes and we don't see you in our uh, future. Now, get the hell out of my office. Your time's up. Nepotism is a powerful weapon. You're no longer welcome here. <laughs> Quit crying, you snowflake. This is America. Call someone who cares. <laughs> loser. <laughs> oh, loser. <laughs> loser. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if Steve got that promotion he was talking about. For real, my bank account ain't empty and I paid all my bills. Had my situation 